Okay guys, now this article that I'm about to read is actually connected to a video I did on the 18th of January. And that video was about the polar vortex that had split in two. Now the reason that this happened is because our stratosphere experienced rapid temperature increases and it caused this vortex here to actually split in two. Now this has a knock-on effect to all of the climate and weather patterns around our planet and this is exactly what we are now experiencing. At the moment where I live, we have torrential rain. Now that's not too unusual because we do have monsoons. I'm in far north Queensland and that's tropical. So we do have the monsoons. However, the amount of rain that we have experienced is phenomenal. So even for us, it is definitely something that is not as common, even though it does rain. I mean, we're getting huge falls and there's massive amounts of flooding at the moment. Roads are cut. Um, yeah, it's pretty full on. Now, over in the US, this is how it's going to affect you guys. According to this article on Climate Central, it's saying that you guys are about to experience very, very, very cold temperatures. And it's going to happen for a few weeks. So the article was published on the 21st of January 2013 and it goes on to say stratospheric phenomenon is bringing frigid cold to the US. An unusual event playing out high in the atmosphere above the Arctic Circle is setting the stage for what could be weeks upon weeks of frigid cold across wide swaths of the US, having already helped to bring cold and snowy weather to parts of Europe. This phenomenon known as Sutton Stratospheric Warming event started on the 6th of January but is something that is just beginning to have an effect on weather patterns across North America and Europe. While the physics behind the Sutton Stratospheric Warming events are complicated, that means they don't really understand them or they don't know why it's happening, their implications are not. Such events are often harbingers of cold weather in North America and Eurasia. The ongoing event favours colder and possibly stormier weather as long as for four to eight weeks after the event. Meaning that after a mild start to the winter, the rest of this month and February could bring the coldest weather of the winter seasons to parts of the US along with a heightened chance of snow. Now, if it's anything like what we've experienced in Australia with the heat waves that we had last week, which is also from this stratospheric warming event, then I bet you guys are going to break temperature records for the coldest weather in these weeks to come. So it goes on to say that sudden stratospheric warming events take place in about half of all northern hemisphere winters and they have been occurring with increasing frequency during the past decade, possibly related to the loss of Arctic sea ice due to global warming. Arctic sea ice declined to its smallest extent on record in September 2012. Now, even though they are saying that this type of stratospheric warming takes place in about half of all winters, Check out the other video I did and have a look at why this one is different. And I'm not saying it hasn't happened before, but it's not as common as they are saying. So I will uh, put the link to that video underneath this one and you can check it out. So then it goes on to say that uh, an Arctic cold front was sliding south from Canada on Friday, getting ready to clear customs at the border on Saturday and Sunday, bringing an icy chill to areas from the Plains states through to the mid-Atlantic by early next week. Anyway, I'm not going to read the rest of the article. I just want to let you guys know that you have very, very cold weather coming. So best prepare ahead of the herd. You know, they aren't getting this information right now. So go out and stock up because you can bet that this cold weather is going to play havoc with our electricity and transformers and all of those types of things. So, you know, if you're in these areas that, that are going to experience these temperature drops, then 
definitely uh, heads up and you know please go out and get some preparations in order. All right, guys. Well, I will leave it here and I will link the article underneath as well as the video in regards to the polar vortex splitting in two. And as always, peace out.